Hi, my treasures. If you're new, I am Beijing Treasure. If you're returning, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back. Thanks for all the love and support you're showing me. On my channel, is where you can release the Lord. If you stay long enough, you can find some gold. Guys, you know today is? Today is Sunday. Happy Sunday. Happy, happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Happy, happy Sunday to you. And you, and you, and you, and you, happy Sunday, happy, happy Sunday, happy, happy Sunday. Thank God for life, thank God for neither. Father, we thank you, praise, rejoice in your name. Hallelujah. Guys, today I'll be sharing um, maybe a healing <laughs> from Pastor Sean Pender. He has a channel on YouTube. I'm leaving his link in the description box. He's an amazing pastor. I ask them every morning. So we don't know for you. Let's get into praise and worship. Mm -hmm. We're blessed, so blessed, how blessed. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. So my treasures, I forgot. Happy Father's to all the fathers out there. Wish you all all the best. May God continue to bless you and always be, be a good father to your kids. Our kids need good fathers. And let's get into the praise and worship. If you hear a little noise in the background, rain is falling. But I can't stop us from praising God. Who, 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 who can't stop it? They can't stop it. Ooh, we can't stop it. We can't stop it. Ooh, Father Lord, we're praising you. Ooh, <laughs> guys, let's get into praise and worship. Pastor Sean Pender.
to stop this broadcast different. I just felt the Holy Ghost pulling us in this direction. Friends, you're watching this broadcast. You are in need of a healing. You are in need of a miracle. You are in the right place at the right time. Jesus Christ is still the healer. You can be healed right where you are, my friends. There is no distance in prayer. Not only that, Jesus is right there with you right now. The Bible says the woman with the issue of blood, when she heard about Jesus and all the great miracles that he had done, she said, all I got to do is just touch the hem of his garments. And I know I'll be made whole. And immediately when she touched the hem of his garments, she knew in her body that she had been healed of that plague. Jesus said, who touched me? The apostle said, Master, come on, be reasonable with us. Don't you see this great crowd touching up against you? And the woman came and fell down before Jesus, trembling, and told him all the truth. Jesus said, daughter, be of good cheer. Your faith have made you whole. I feel the flow of the anointing of God on this morning. Friend, you may have a cancer in your body. You may have a brain tumor. You may have a heart disease. Listen, you may have fibroid tumors. You may have a broken limb. You may have a paralyzed limb, a blind eye, a deaf ear, a dumb tongue. Listen, my Bible says nothing is impossible with God. Lay your hands on the part of your body where you need God to touch you right now. Just lay your hands on the part of your body where you need a miracle from God. I cursed up arthritis in your body. Jesus is the healer, not Pastor Sean. Just lay your hands on yourself, believing God for a miracle. I rebuke that rheumatoid arthritis that's been taken over your body. I rebuke that spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. I command you to be healed from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. I command you to be healed right now in the name of Jesus. I curse that prostate cancer, that ovarian cancer, that leukemia, cancer of the bones, pancreatic cancer, cancer of the kidneys, cancer of the lungs. I rebuke it from out of your body wherever that cancer is. You foul devil of cancer, get out of their body in the name of Jesus. Get out. Loose them and let them go. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. I curse that heart disease. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Lord, let the healing power of the Holy Ghost begin to flow into your people's bodies right now. Let the healing power of God begin to flow. Friend, don't wait for me to pray for it or call it out. Just call that thing out before God that's been plaguing your body. That sickness, that disease, that no amount of doctor visits or medication is able to cure. With God, absolutely nothing is impossible. The Bible says Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today and forever. Be healed in your body right now. Receive the power of God in your body. Receive the healing touch of God. Somebody just felt the healing power of God go straight down the center of their body. Miracles are happening right now. Come on, join your faith with me and call that thing out. Lay your hands on yourself, the part of your body that's plagued with that disease. Come on. Receive your miracle right now. I feel the healing anointing of the Holy Ghost flowing. The Bible says, Jesus said, whatever you ask in my name, I'll do it. I pray for you, my friend, in the name of Jesus. I curse that sickness. I curse that disease from out of your body. Be healed from every sickness, from every disease. I rebuke the spirit of 
blindness. I rebuke deafness. I rebuke dumbness. I rebuke the devil of paralysis. Loose them and let them go. I rebuke multiple sclerosis. I rebuke fibromyalgia. I rebuke that emphysema. I rebuke that lung disease. I rebuke that cataracts. I rebuke it from out of your body. That cysts. I rebuke the tumors out of your chest. I rebuke it. Give up the shuttle of Adam and the Rosa. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. Oh, we love you, Lord. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. Be healed in your body. Be healed the power of God. My gosh, some of you feel the healing power of God like an electricity, like a warmth. Some of you feel like a tingling going through your body. Some of you feel warm glow. Some of you feel like a warm oil. Some of you feel a wind. That's the power of the Holy Ghost. Be healed in your body. Be healed. Oh, glory to God. Be healed in your body. Oh, Lord, my God. When I in awesome wonder can see that all the worlds thy hands have made, I see the stars. I see the stars. I hear the rolling Thunder, your power throughout the universe display. Come on and sing it with me. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to see. How great, how great, how great thou art. How great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God. to see 
that you are not playing games. We are not playing. The power of God is at work. Oh, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. Be healing your body. Oh, glory to God. The healing power of the Holy Ghost is here. Be healed from every sickness, from every disease of back injury. Have been healed. Someone with problems in the spine. Someone with a twisted tailbone is being healed right now by the power of God around your hip sockets. Miracles are happening, especially up and down the spine. Yeah, I feel the Holy Ghost. People are being healed in their spines right now. Oh my God, further praise. Being healed. Degeneration of the spine. Being healed. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. Receive your miracle. Receive your healing right now. Receive it right now in the name of Jesus. Receive your healing. Receive your healing right now. Right now, right now, right now. Oh, mighty God, mighty God. Holy Spirit, heal the people of God this morning. Heal them in the name of Jesus. Grant them their miracles. Grant it to them. Manifest the miracles in their body right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Brave hour. This is my soul, my Savior unto thee. How great thou art. How great thou art. Hallelujah. I hope this message from Pastor Sean Pinder was a blessing on your life. It certainly was a blessing on my life. Every morning. You hear what I say? Every morning, I listen to Pastor Sean Pender. If you're looking for a good channel to hear the word of God every morning, this is a good one. I will leave his link in the description box. So every morning, I say my prayers, then I go and listen to Pastor Sean Pender. Then I put something else, uh, listening to listen to. Then afterwards, I will go to my book. I have my Lady Wisdom Speaks books. I will put then I'm going to write in my gratitude to God. Yes, always give God thanks. I write in it every day. Every day, guys. Every day. My last entry was the day 15, which was Saturday. Let me get closer. And I said, Holy Father, thank you. You have been so good to me. Father, I just want to say thank you and I love you. Father, thank you for allowing me to see another day. Father, thank you for my family. Father, please keep guiding me in your right, in, in the right direction. Sorry. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. My treasures, always give God thanks. You could have a little bit of rice, thank him. You could have just a cup of drink, thank him. Always give thanks and don't be greedy. I find when you're greedy, greed, you don't really receive blessings. If it sounds silly, right? You might got say you got two brain or two drinks, and you decide well, somebody come and ask you saying you get them one. You really don't want to get another because you only got two. But he said, you give them one. You blessing is come. Yeah, I have done that. I have been broke. And someone come and ask me for some money. And I didn't have it, but I give them it. Oh, oh, oh. and the blessings come to pour in. Pour in. Always be kind to others. Always put yourself in people's shoes. If it was you, what would you like them to do? What would you do if it was you, you know? Use your body bag and you would let it out, right? So I help. You won't want to give the person the money. Go ahead. Buy them a drink. Buy them a meal. Something. A man's rejection is God's protection. 
thank you so much for watching if you're new here and you to subscribe please go ahead and subscribe please subscribe to pastor sean penner's channel he's amazing please i'll be leaving his link in the description box and i'm going to put, put in his picture somewhere over here so uh, always give god thanks for every day